Good morning, guys. We are here at the beach. We are about ready to go offshore. We got some great conditions today. You can see flat calm. We're going to do some trolling. We're going to do some reef fishing. We're going to try a little bit of everything. So I'm going to hurry up and get out there. I already saw fish busting bait on top. So we're going to get started. All right, guys, let's get started. I'm seeing a little bait bust. Let's go ahead and throw this real quick. Oh my God. Big lady fish. Big, big lady fish. All right, at least now I know what they are. Oh no, yep. Yep, big lady fish. So I got done playing with the lady fish and decided to get down to business, catch some bait so I could start trolling. So I caught a few cigar minnows and I caught one beautiful looking scaled sardine, which is one of my favorite baits to troll behind the kayak. So I got my trolling rig out, which is a 6500 pin spin fisher live liner on a Shimano Travala jigging rod. It works really well on the kayak. And I've got 50 pound Beyond Braid spooled on it with a shock leader of 40 pound mono connected to just a standard King Mackerel rig with a duster on it. So that's a J hook with a small bit of wire with a treble hook attached to it. And you put the J hook in the nose of the fish and then you hook the treble hook in the back. This is the time of year that you never really know what you're gonna hook trolling offshore because there's cobia coming through, the tarpon migration is starting, uh, you've got king mackerel and Spanish in the area and they've already caught some sailfish. So when that rod bends, there's no telling what's on the end of your line. All right, guys, we got a big old scaled sardine on that we're trolling. Let's get that in the rod holder. And it didn't take long for the action to start. Yep, that's big old tarpon. Oh boy. When trolling in a kayak, one of the biggest decisions you have to make is whether you're gonna troll one line or two lines. There's benefits to both. With two lines, of course, you can have two different baits. I like to run like a crank bait on one closer to the kayak and then put a live bait way far back. But you always risk tangling with the other line when you have two lines out. With one line, there's no risk of getting tangled. So that's why I'm trying to get this other line reeled in right now. Okay, we've got something big here, guys. I'm just trying to get my... Golly, this is massive. I don't know what this is. Got the other line in, good. All right. That's not a run like a king. It was like jerk, jerk, jerk. That's different from a king. Not sure what this is. Still got quite a bit of line out. This might be a king. It's 
We'll take it real easy. Don't know what this is, but it is big. I hope it's not a shark. I don't think it's a shark. This is massive. I don't think this is a king. I'm not sure what this is. Golly. I'm not going to horse this guy. Oh. Big head shakes. Loosen the drag just a little. No need to horse them. It's not like there's structure. Going in circles. Oh, I saw, I think I saw it down there. Maybe. Come on. It's coming up to the top. It's coming up. Oh, I see something. Is that a shark or is that a cobia? It's looking sharky. No, oh, it's a black tip. Dang it. Ah, I did not want to mess with a shark this morning. Just going to have to cut the line. Dealing with sharks next to the kayak is always a dangerous thing, especially with the smaller or medium sized ones like this one. Trying to dehook a shark from the kayak, uh, you're more than likely not going to have good results, so the best bet is to cut the line as close to the shark as possible. The small treble will rust out quickly and the shark will be fine. All right. Ah. <sighs> Thought I had a good one here. Come on, swim off. Okay, there he turned over. All right, he's swimming off now. Stupid shark. All right, let's go drop some live baits. So I made it out to the reef and was gonna do a little bottom fishing. So my setup for bottom fishing for heavy fish is a five and a half foot heavy star boat rod with a Abbott conventional reel, and I've got 60 pound mono on there. That mono provides some abrasion resistance when those fish get around the reef or go into a rock or a hole. 
I got a three foot liter of 30 pound fluorocarbon connected to a three ox circle hook. And Jeez. I'm using a three ounce Psychos. egg sinker. And just like trolling, this was almost an instantaneous hit when the bait hit the bottom. I think I got him. This is big. Feels like a big red snapper. Woo! Oh. Whoa! Oh gosh. Oh, where are you red snapper season, buddy? Wow. Woo! Jeez. That was a good fight. Ha <laughs> ha! Holy moly. Circle hook right in the corner. Perfect. Wow. That is a beauty. He's gonna grab my fish grips. You're not gonna open for me, are you? All right, guess he's not gonna open his mouth. That thing is a beast. Wow, what a beauty. He's about, about 30 inches. All right, let's let him go. He is gone. Yeah. Holy moly. That's why I like using that heavy avid on there. You uh, <laughs> stand a lot better chance landing that big fish like that. All right, now let's get a grouper. Check my leader. I think the leader's fine. Yep, leader's good. That's just 30 pound leader too. Oh crap, I forgot all about this guy. While I was dropping my bait on the bottom, I forgot that I had a flat line out behind the kayak which is not a big deal as long as you remember it's there and you don't let it get tangled in your pedal drive. My other line. Oh, damn. Look what he did to that hook. Wow. All right, let's see what kind of mess we got going on here. Oh, don't be in the, oh no. Is it in the pedals? Yep. All right. Oh boy. All right. We're done with this one for today. Have to restring this one up. So the lesson here is if you can't stay cognizant of having two lines out at once, don't do it. Just put one line out. I got excited with that snapper and I completely forgot about my flat line out. 
So this put a big damper on my day and trying to get everything untangled, I knocked my braid scissors over into the water. So lesson learned. I hope you guys learned something from this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. It helps the channel grow. So until next time, everybody, tight lines.